Hey guys, you're going to want to stick with us. Today we're talking about upgrades we've done to the outside of our rig. So if it's your first time here, click that subscribe button and we'll get this started. Alright guys, our rig is a 2006 Salem LE and it didn't come with all the bells and whistles uh, especially with some of the things that the newer rigs come with these days so we've done a number of upgrades to our uh, RV to make it more comfortable and enjoyable for us when we're on the road and if you're interested in any of these upgrades along the way I'll include a link to each of these items in the description below so starting out with our tongue jack our electric jack was starting to get a little worn out the old model was an Atwood, and it was just getting tired. It was having a hard time uh, lifting the trailer anymore. So we decided it was a good time to go ahead and replace it before it finally died on us on the road. So we opted for the Bulldog 4,000 pound electric tongue jack. This was a, uh, a good model for us. I like the reviews on it. it. Includes a bubble level on the top of the jack, so you kind of know if you're level right at the jack or not. Um, it's got nice, easy, clickable buttons on the front, includes an LED light, but I think my favorite part of the whole thing was that it had an adjustable drop foot. So the next item we upgraded was our propane tanks. This trailer came with 20 uh, pound propane tanks, which is really convenient if you're out on the road and you can pretty much have them swapped out any gas station, Walmart, or whatnot. But we don't like to fill our tanks any more than we have to, so we opted to upgrade these to a 30 pound tanks. And when we did, we also upgraded the regulator and pigtails as well. Um, they were starting to show some age as well, so we went ahead and upgraded the whole package. While we're on the subject of propane, one of the biggest concerns is always how much you have in your tanks. So we opted to install the Mopeka tank check system on our travel trailer. And this is a simple sensor, it clips to the bottom of the tank using a magnet and it can connect to your uh, phone with Bluetooth with an app and you can check the levels of those tanks and it is extremely accurate. It also includes a control panel that you can mount inside your RV so you can just poke a button at any time and see what the level of your tanks are. Also if you opt for the wireless gateway you can also connect your tank check to Alexa and just ask about your tank levels. So security of items outside your rig is always a concern especially when you leave the campsite. We installed a Reese cable lock. It's a 15 foot retractable cable and it bolts to the frame of your trailer and you can use it to lock up things like a grill or chairs or some people may even opt to loop it through the wheel of your RV and just have some added security for when you're away from your rig. So just like all our veers, we have to deal with trying to get rid of the shake that we experience in our RV. Now, a lot of people opt for different chalking versions and uh, X chocks and things of that nature. And those things do help. But what we found that actually eliminates the problem, we upgraded our stabilizer jacks to a 7,500 pound Libra jack, which is a much higher quality, stiffer jack doesn't flex as much and then we installed JT strong arms JT strong arms you cannot go wrong with they are the best solution to remove the shake that happens in these RVs so the next item was our RV steps now our campers old enough it came with the the old pull out camper RV steps that nobody really likes they're not very stable and the second Moride came out with the step above system, we jumped at the chance to purchase it and install it in our rig. We absolutely love these steps. They're uh, stable, they're heavy duty, they don't flex. Some people complain about the sand or dirt that may fall off the steps when they're put up into the store position inside the door. Now we found that the simplest way to deal with that is to simply put a welcome mat on the floor we're up below the steps to help just catch that sand. So once we removed our steps that left the old steps still underneath not used on our RV 
and we always wondered, you know, it'd be nice if there was a solution for that. The following year, Moride came out with a storage box solution to replace those steps and add additional storage to your RV. We were excited about this because our RV really doesn't have a lot of outdoor storage, so we jumped at the opportunity to buy them and install them on our rig. We absolutely love the fact that we can remove some items from our normal storage compartments and store them in that box where they're not always accessible. Next up was the AC in our unit. The one that came on it was a 13.5 and it was starting to show its age and it just couldn't keep up on those hot summer days anymore and we decided it was time to upgrade. So we looked at a bunch of different models and different reviews and we finally opted on the Dometic Brisk Air 2 in the 15K model. Since we installed this model we were pleasantly surprised. It has absolutely no struggle cooling down our 30 foot rig. The next item is insect screens. Now it's important to keep the insects out of your propane appliances because they absolutely love the smell of the propane and they like to get into those small areas and build nests that are potentially a fire hazard. So we installed screens on all of our appliances including our refrigerator vents to keep bugs out of those areas and building nests that could be a real problem. Just like your propane appliances, another spot for insects and bees to get into is your rear bumper. Now this typically happens because people store their sewer hose inside their RV bumper, but once those bees get inside there and build a nest, it could be a potential problem of when you reach in for your sewer hose that you may get stung. So we went ahead and we replaced the caps on the end of our bumpers that are insect safe caps that keeps those insects and bees out of the bumper and you no longer have to worry about that. So our next item is our trailer tires on our RV and it was time to replace our tires and we did a lot of research on different brands and reviews before we bought our tires and we're not going to get into the heated debate whether or not you should use ST tires or truck tires or China bombs or not China bombs. That There's a lot of debating over that on the internet and we don't want to take part in that but we did our own research and we opted on the Maxxis M8008 uh, model number of tire. Now we absolutely love this tire. We upgraded from a load range D up to an E. It's a much stiffer tire. We can feel the difference hauling the trailer. The trailer don't seem to have as much sway. Um, it don't bounce as much and we like that in this tire and it made our trailer much more towable. Next up is the solar motion lights we installed next to our stairs on our RV. Now we like these for a couple reasons. We're typically out around the campfire late into the evening and when it's time to go to bed it's nice that when you head towards your trailer that those lights automatically come on and it makes entering the trailer in the dark much safer because your steps are lit up. The second reason is if you're staying in a fairly remote area where you have a problem with animals coming into your campsite that the motion lights will kick on and off and it tends to scare the animals away. The added benefit is these typically point towards the ground and that they're not turning on and shining your neighbor if you're in a campsite where you're relatively close. This next upgrade really only applies to travel trailers and that's installing a toolbox on the tongue of our trailer. Now I wanted to install this because like I said our trailer doesn't really have a lot of storage space so I wanted a spot where I could maybe store the weight distribution bars or the extension for the awning and other small tools. Now to do this I had to move our battery box so I opted to put it, actually put it inside the toolbox at the one end and that allows us to, to not only lock up our battery but we still have storage for our weight distribution bars and other items. The next item is our Velterra sewer hose solution. Now this is a tube that bolts underneath of your RV or some people put it on the top of their bumper and it's big enough you can not only put your sewer hose inside of it you can also typically put the elbow that you need for your full hookup in there as well. Now it's nice because it has a door on either side and it has a spot for a retaining clip or a paddle lock if you really choose to lock up your sewer hose. Next up is the BAL Hide a Spare. 
Now this is a great solution if you're wanting to remove a spare tire from the rear bumper mount or if you're having to store a spare tire in a storage compartment. This allows you to get that tire out of those areas and store it up underneath your RV out of the sun where it's protected. And it drops down easily on the passenger side if you should have a flat and need to get that spare tire. BAL makes models for both rigs with underbellies and without. Next up it's onto the roof. Now if you don't have a vent cover that covers your pop-up vents, I highly recommend that you get one of these. Whether you get the Camp Go or the Max Air versions, they're both very good. This allows you to be able to have your vents open even if it's raining or windy or even when you're towing. This allows for extra ventilation on days when you need it most. Typically when it's humid, muggy, or just plain hot. As you may have seen in that last clip, our sewer vent covers are a little worse for wear. So it was time to replace those and we opted to swap those out with the Camp Go Cyclone vents that need very little airflow that creates a venturi to help suck that sewer gas out of the tanks and you don't have to worry about getting that stinky smell inside of your RV. So by removing our spare tire from our rear bumper, it allowed us options with our cargo rack. We decided to make our cargo rack a full width rack, so we bought another identical unit to the one that we had, and we bolted the sections together to create a 90 inch wide rack that uses two hitch receivers. This has been a great solution for us. We typically have a cargo bag that we store uh, some items in while traveling, and it also allows room that if we have a foodie weekend, I can put the smoker on the back. And it also doubles as a dishwashing station when we're camping because our outdoor shower is directly above the rack. There you go guys, that's the upgrades we've done to the outside of our rig. And as I said earlier, if you're interested in these, you can find them in the description below. So if you like the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and comment below. And don't forget, click that little subscribe button right here. And while you're at it, check out another one of these great videos. We'll see you out there.